Nolagen here at Auction House Market. Good stuff in here. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog Restaurant Review Videos, it's time for you to eat with me at Auction House Market Food Hall. Auction House Market is located in the Warehouse District of New Orleans at 801 Magazine Street, which is about five minutes and one mile away from the French Quarter. The food hall concept is similar to a mall food court, just with fancier food, although some department stores around the world have even fancier versions than this one with gourmet level food. This is a good concept for people looking to sample a variety of different types of food in one location, and New Orleans now has several of these food hall concepts that have opened. Okay, let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Auction House Market Food Hall opened up in 2018, and my first and last visit was back in May of 2019. Auction House Market Food Hall has a central cocktail bar surrounded with 10 food stalls that line the perimeter of the space. Currently, only seven of the 10 available food stalls are active, and there has been quite a lot of turnover from my last visit. With only Tava, Indian Street Food, which I ate out last time, it's really great still being here. Coast Rose Coffee was here last time, and I tried some of their drinks, although they've removed all the branding that used to be here, so I'm not sure if they're really still here or not, but their website and the Auction House website still list them as being here. And Elysian Seafood is still here, although there was nobody working here on a Friday night, which I found a little unusual. But those were the remaining vendors from my previous visit. The new vendors are Asian Licious Sushi, and then we have La Mezcla Mexican Food, and then we have M Tri Vietnamese Food, which they don't have listed on their website currently. And then the Parish Bakery, which was also closed on a Friday night. So they have quite a selection still, a lot of variety to choose from. And there were quite a few people in here on a Friday night enjoying themselves with some cocktails and food. So this is a nice space. They've got a nice little uh, vibe going on here, certainly. Then they have this private event space that people can rent out, or when it's not being rented out, people can just come in here and enjoy their food and drinks. So they do have quite a little pleasant space in here for any kind of special private thing you'd like to host or any other type of event. They have a little bar in the corner here where you can also get a bartender to sling some drinks for you, and you can have an enjoyable good time in here. So I've been to one event inside here, so I wanted to try some of the food that was new to me here. So I got a miso soup here from Asian Licious that looks pretty good. So I sampled that. It's an above average size and it does have some good flavors. So that is a good miso soup. And then here we have the king roll. This roll has tempura shrimp, cream cheese, mango, seaweed, sesame seeds, avocado, and sushi rice. So let's dig in here and take a little sample bite and see how it is. So, I don't think I've ever had a sushi roll quite like this with the mango on it like this. So, it's uh, it's got some good combinations of flavors going together here. So, it is a pleasant roll to eat. And I'm going to put a little of this wasabi on here. See if I can kick it up a little bit and uh, see how this flavor combo works out. Ooh, there we go. And, uh, mmm, that definitely kicks up the flavor even more. So... This roll is totally destroyed, and it's time to move on to my next roll. This is the grilled salmon roll with grilled salmon, avocado, carrot, and a house sauce. The grilled salmon's got a really great aroma coming off of it, and mmm, uh, my mouth's watering, so let's give this a sample. Oh yes, this is really good. I'm enjoying the flavor there, and uh, Add a little wasabi for a little extra kick, and let's see how that adds to the experience. Mmm, mmm, oh, 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 yes. That definitely makes it even nicer. Ooh, I do like that. I love the way the wasabi just uh, adds that special heat that you get from it, and uh, really makes everything a little more special when you eat it like that. Some people like to dilute it down with some uh, soy sauce, but if I can eat it straight, I often will. So it gives a better effect, I think, when I've got it directly applied without all the soy involved. So this is a very easy roll to eat. The flavors go together very well. 
and I'm uh, certainly enjoying this experience. The rules here seem to be a little more loosely wrapped than other sushi places I've eaten at, but they are staying together, so that's the important thing. So as long as it's all maintaining structural integrity and not falling apart all over the place, that's a win in my book. So if it's good flavor and it's all staying together, everything is nice. And I'm actually able to eat it with chopsticks and not drop it all over the place and make a big mess, so that's a big bonus. So if I'm able to get it from the plate and into my mouth without it all breaking apart, falling everywhere, then that's definitely exactly where it needs to be so I can efficiently and elegantly enjoy my delicious meal of sushi here. So that's always a great victory when your food doesn't just fall apart, trip down your mouth, get all of your clothes, it makes a huge mess. So as long as you can eat your food decently, uh, Neatly, that's always the best way to go. Unless you're doing something like a seafood boil where you're ripping apart crawfish and shrimp and crabs and stuff's gonna splatter all over you. Or barbecue ribs, you're definitely gonna make a mess with that often. So the sushi's definitely packaged in a nice, neat format that uh, most people can eat without much trouble. So here's my last bite. And oh, that was really tasty. Now I'm gonna take down this ginger or a little dessert, and I think we will have a complete and total great completion of our nice little snack we just had from the sushi place at Asian Luscious. So just like I destroyed that sushi, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this sushi. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. So next up, I decided to continue with the roll theme at the Tava India Street Food, and I got a nice lamb kati roll. And ooh, this thing looks really nice, and it smells amazing. Oh my goodness. This thing has such amazing aroma coming off of it right now, and it just looks so pretty. If you just looked at it, you would think it was a burrito, but this is definitely not a burrito. This is wonderful Indian food, all wrapped up in a nice package that's easy to take down. The flavors are amazing. The lamb has some nice spice to it. The flavors here are going together so well. Oh, everything is really delicious. I am really enjoying this. I got to eat some of this food the last time I was here, and it was my favorite food of any of the vendors back then, and I would say it's still my favorite food inside this place still. So I definitely highly recommend this place as everything's been really delicious I've ever had from it. So in my opinion, Tava is the top dog in the auction house food hall. Their food has really got some unique flavors that really contrast above and beyond a lot of the flavors at the other spots to my taste buds at least i'm a big fan of all the stuff they have and this is really a wonderful and quite an affordable little thing to get with these kati rolls out of the several other indian food restaurants we have in the new orleans area there's nowhere else that does anything quite like this so they've really made a very unique and delicious genre of food here that we just don't have anywhere else in the New Orleans area. So they've got a great niche here, and to me, this is the one spot that really makes it worth visiting here at the Auction House Food Hall, as they definitely, in the entire area, are most certainly unique and stand out, where a lot of the other food in here, it's uh, available in a lot of other places in the area. Where Tava just has things that you just ain't gonna get anywhere else other than here. So, and look, when you're finished eating, you've got some stuff that fell out. So you have a little bit of a third meal to keep going. And it's like an Indian style nacho you get to make. Look at this. It's so functional in so many ways. You get to have a wonderful little Indian style nacho. And hey, maybe that's a thing they could create. They should uh, maybe just offer an Indian style nacho. And this to me tastes so much better than a corn chip. I love this crispy little bread and all these flavors and everything on here combined so well on top of it to really make for an excellent flavor combination. So uh, 
Tyler, you might want to take my idea and be welcome to steal it and start offering some lamb nachos like this because it's also something that's really wonderful. I think that'd be a great appetizer to start with before you got more cotty rolls. Ooh, it's delicious. So just like I've destroyed this delicious plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about my amazingly delicious to me cotty roll. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. And thanks so much to everybody at Auction House Market, especially to Tava for the amazing food today on this visit. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just share this video with any of your friends or contacts, that really would help me and I really do appreciate it. And make sure you tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.